Hey there, John, with you again uh, with the walk around and demo of my 1970 Honda CB350 uh, Resto Mod. Just uh, finished and offering it for sale. Uh, just wanted to show off all the features the beautiful paint job, Avon Road Rider tires, front and rear. We've got a 90. Uh, 90 in the in the front uh, 18 inch of course and then a, and a 190 in the rear brand new very few miles on them and the bike's been re recently completed it's completed in uh, mid-february it's uh, got uh, obviously what stands out is, uh, is the beautiful house of color which is the top of the line paint paint job this is candy apple red over their zenith gold we've got some panels over kind of a charcoal that had been marbleized. If you're not familiar, that's where you you spray a darker color, and then you spray the uh, marbleizer mixed with a like a white silver pearl in this case, and then you put saran wrap or bubble wrap. I use saran wrap or like a laund a laundry bag, laundry dry cleaning bag, and you peel it off, and it leaves you this kind of marbleized pattern, uh, which. Uh, it's kind of cool. I mean, you really got to be in the bright sunlight to, to really see it. I'm not sure that this is doing it justice, uh, but we've got these panels. Uh, the marbleization is on the fenders and the side covers. Uh, it's, uh, it's got to, you got to see it in person, I guess, almost to appreciate it the most. Uh, other modifications, we've got uh, LED turn signals, front and rear. The rear fender has been bobbed and kind of narrowed a little bit, and it's got a Lucas style tail light. The chain guard has been bobbed and had some speed holes. You're going to go faster because of those holes, I promise. Uh, drilled into it. This kind of kind of looks kind of cool. The engine has uh, about 20, I think it had 23,000, something like that on it. When I acquired the bike, it wasn't, the bike wasn't running. It, the wiring was all messed up, but the engine's in perfect condition. Everything's been done as far as maintenance. Uh, the oil slinger was, was actually quite clean. It's got fresh synthetic oil in it. It's you know the timing chain's been adjusted. The, uh, the valve clearances have been adjusted. The, the ignition timing, the point gap, brand new plugs, carburetors completely you know uh, vapor blasted. All these uh, engine parts too were vapor blasted and then polished through several grits of uh, sandpaper and then buffing different buffing wheels. Hold on, I'm gonna have to pause here. Okay, we're back. Sorry about that. The garbage was getting picked up and we, I mean, was making a lot of noise. You can hear it. They're leaving. Anyway, uh, so the uh, the engine covers, yeah, the, the carburetors, the engine covers, uh, the side covers were, were vapor blasted. Carburetors, you know, new carb carb kits, new all new rubber seals and uh, gaskets inside. And then these co covers were then sanded through up through various grits and then buffed uh, through various, uh, you know, emery and then Tripoli and all the, the different compounds to get to a, a nice shine. All the chrome, you know, that has been buffed on the buffing wheel, the, the aluminum, uh, the rims uh, obviously were vapor blasted. And polished as well, uh, not the rims, but the hubs, I should say. The rims were uh, painted uh, satin black, uh, just like the engine has got satin black. The uh, headers and the mufflers. The mufflers are kind of cool. They're uh, and you don't see mufflers like this. I couldn't. I haven't seen mufflers like this. This is a vintage accessory that would have been put on back, you know, who knows how long ago. Uh, but they're uh, got a high heat satin black on them as well. Another thing that's kind of cool here is these, uh, I mean, you can see the tappet covers, these fin tappet covers. That's like a, a vintage accessory that was available back in the day, but uh, very hard to come by now. The, uh, the paint, uh, I think I, I mentioned, you know, about the marbleizing, but it is, it's, uh, it's house of color apple red candy. And you get the different, you know, different appearance between the light and the dark because it's over, the bases underneath it are different bases. Uh, and then it's like four coats of, uh, of their highest quality uh, UV resistant clear on it. The, uh, the controls, uh, it's, we've got a custom aluminum dashboard. We've got a vapor, Trailtech vapor speedometer, tachometer. It's got the, uh, the, the date, date and time, you know, air temperature, engine temperature, all of this in this one sleek little unit. The uh, indicator lights are, are all LED now. You've got high beam, your neutral, and then your turn signal indicator. All the lights, all the electric works great. The horn, it's got dual horns. Uh, let's see here. We'll come around this way. There's uh, two horns here. One's kind of behind the other. A little hard to see, maybe, but uh, it's nice and loud. One, you know, two different tones: a high tone and a low tone. So people will uh, get out of your way and hear you coming. You got to be safe out there. Um, 
what else more polished engine covers the engine the rest of the engine like I said was in great shape so I've been tuned it's got the satin black on it uh, we painted the shock springs the polished hub in the rear the Avon tire in the rear uh, again we have these LED turn signals up front as well as the back and they're painted to match you know the front and the back back you know matches the frame uh, the seat I'm real proud of uh, hand stitched uh, this is a beautiful uh, very soft leather and then the piping is a maroon it's also leather uh, I think it turned out real nice and complements the bike very nicely so uh, let's go ahead and, and fire it up of course the electric start works everything I'll show you all that um, but yeah let's let's go ahead and fire it up we'll turn on the fuel give it a little bit of choke not much and then we'll fire it up Oop. and runs great. Well, uh, I'll tack on the end of video of me riding it up and down the street here. Uh, like I said, it's, it's uh, in beautiful condition. It's one of a kind. Uh, everything works great. I'm going to move it into the shade so I can show you all the lights and everything else working. But here's the horn. You can hear that dual tone. Um, but yeah, let me move it into the shade and we'll uh, show you all the lights working. Okay, here we are in the shade. You can see you got the... Uh, Neutral indicator light is illuminated. We'll, uh, there's our turn signals. We got the, uh, the left turn signal, front and rear. Flip over to the right. Still got your indicator up here flashing. There's the uh, right rear, right front. Uh, you already heard the horn. Let's turn that off. There's our low beam. That's working. Put it up to high beam. That works as well. Uh, let's see, what else did we did? The horn. Uh, electric start. Yeah, and then, okay, so the brake light. Uh, it's going to be a little, there's the stop light. You know, the tail light is on right now. There's the, the brake light is actuated by the hand, you know, the front brake with the hand, and then there's the rear brake actuating the, the brake light as well. So that all works. We've got a, uh, a little connector, you can connect up a battery tender, just kind of sitting there ready for use. Um, and then the kill switch, that works as well. So there you have it. Uh, also I mentioned uh, the underneath the fenders have rubberized undercoating, so rocks are just going to kind of bounce off and, and not make a lot of noise as you're rolling down the road. But uh, yeah, it's a beautiful bike, one of a kind. Beautiful paint job is going to catch uh, catch everybody's attention as you roll up on it. It needs nothing. It's ready to ride. It's got a Vermont registration in my name. So that, with a bill of sale, you should have no trouble at any DMV. And uh, I can answer any questions about that you might have. Thanks a lot for watching. Appreciate it.